All right, thanks for joining me today this morning. Uh, we are going to do a reaction of the Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia fight. I didn't watch it last night. I didn't buy the pay-per-view. Uh, simply because uh, this isn't a title belt. It's kind of like just who's uh, better between those three who <coughs> are tied 3-3 in the amateur um, ranks. So for those of you who follow boxing, I uh, don't know what I'm talking about. For those who don't, just enjoy the show and the reaction podcast of the Heaven, Danny, and uh, Brian Garcia fight. So I I can't show the video clip because of copyright reasons, but I'm going to show you. You can hear the audio, but I'll just give you my commentate uh, in between the rounds or who I really think. And uh, this is from uh, The Zone Boxing. So I'm going to check it out and see... Uh, the footage and we'll see and we'll go from there and uh, give you uh, my two cents who I think who won but we'll see I didn't I didn't see it so I don't know who won so I'm just as well believe it I'm or just not, as time has come see it. and the fight is on okay the fight I is on. Said the fight's on all right week long because I didn't know for sure but it's gonna happen they're both 25 years old Ryan Garcia, both 25 years old so, he has a two-inch reach oops. advantage. Twelve rounds. Twelve so rounds. super lightweight title is not on the line for Garcia because he missed weight. Only Devin Haney can lose the belt. Oh, that's nice. why. Okay. Body he missed the, the weight, court. so Ryan Garcia missed Where the weight. Hmm. He weighed it officially 143 and one quarter pounds. In 25 professional bouts, this superstar holds a record of 24 victories just one defeat 20 wins coming by way of knockout he is the former wbc interim lightweight world champion he is the fighting pride of victorville california presenting king ride he's <coughs> got a young up-and-coming lion uh he is really good at what he is a really good boxer um Compared to Devin Haney, Devin Haney is is really good as well. So they're kind of tied neck and neck. But we'll see who really won. Because like I said, I didn't see it. I didn't check out the highlights. And I'm just seeing it right now. So 31 wins, 0, zero losses, 15 KOs. Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia only lost one. I forgot to tell you that. So. Yeah. See how this works. All right, boxers. We went over the instructions earlier. As a reminder, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. First round. First round. Whoa, nice shot. Ryan Garcia got handy, man. Clipped him. Clipped him in the first round. And Ryan Garcia did say he's going to knock him out. Round seven. Oh, wow. Got him. Wow. Ryan Garcia got him, man. He clipped him. Wow. See, Ryan Garcia, man. Oh, my God. He got him. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Good for him. Got him. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. The rubber match between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, fight number seven. After this, I want to see eight and nine. Yeah. Wow. Just seeing that right now, guys. Three knockdowns. Three knocks down. He definitely won that fight. Ryan Garcia told Haney we're never. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ryan Curtis, see it, man. He's such a show border. He, uh, boxing does need this, okay? <laughs> boxing does need this, and even though he is kind of a, a wild let loose, um, he didn't care about being losing weight. He just needed to prove his point that he is a really top boxer. All right, so he made his point. He made his point, right? See? Yeah. Wow, I was pretty impressed. So, yeah. Yeah, see, Devin Haney is uh, his first loss, man. Brian uh. <laughs> Garcia just shot everybody up, man. This is pretty wild. Um, for those of you who do follow boxing, and I, I follow boxing, uh, uh, it's amazing to see Brian Garcia. He's a good looking guy, he's a pretty boy, young kid, up and coming lion. Everybody thought he was a TikTok star, or YouTube star, he is, because he's got a lot of followers, subscribers. He just proved his point that he is the uh, top of the top top of the top of the food chain of uh, of boxing right now. He's he's the face of boxing right now. Even though he lost that fight because he did lose uh what well, yeah. He had to he had to drop weight, so Wow. So, How do you like that? Hayden is a little—he's a little bit dumbfounded right now. I just finally realized that oh my God, Ryan is not good. Wow. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna just pause this for a second. Get some serious clipping here going on. So uh, yeah, so Ryan Garcia definitely won uh, three knockdowns in the rounds. I think seven, ten, eleven. Yeah. So. We'll see what happens in the, uh, in the, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a part two, uh, um, because Haney is, uh, and this time it'll be a title belt. This is not a title belt. It's basically just fighting for, I don't know, uh, <laughs> better, but Garcia really proved his point. Um, yeah, 25, yeah. <laughs> this is like wow. Popularity doesn't win fights. Skills and strategy do. Yeah. Heart also does. Ryan Garcia did just that, man. I'm a son. This is only a ten. This is basically only a ten minute. A ten minute showing on uh, the zone, and I haven't seen the full fight yet because I'm gonna dissect the full fight. Um. As soon as it comes out on YouTube, once uh, once it's uh, played uh, the full fight, and then I will commentate uh, the full fight on um, of last night's fight between uh, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. So I'm gonna like I'm gonna end it there because Ryan Garcia did win. So I'm gonna listen to what Ryan Garcia says. This is what can uh. How do you call it? You need boxing. Boxing was kind of on downfall since Manny Pacquiao uh, retired and, uh, you know, fucking like 60 wins and 7 losses. But still, Pacquiao is, was the face of boxing. He was the cash, cash cow. So, <laughs> excuse me. Ooh, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> excuse me. Woo. But anyway, let's listen to what Ryan Garcia has to say. Woo. A lot of dust. And, um, <coughs> whew, my eyes. Welcome to a Sunday there, ladies and gentlemen. Norman's Canada Pension Plan. Back yeah, but anyway, so, uh, I'm going to wait till this thing. Uh, I don't know goes, but, uh, Ryan Garcia, uh, is going to do his, um, uh, uh, full press conference, uh, video on, um, on this on this video clip anyway on the zone so let's listen to what he has to say and uh i'm pretty sure he's gonna have very very he's very entertaining and you need that entertainment and he's gonna be definitely a force to be reckoned with because 
um, for him to win that fight because he didn't have that clause to drop weight, he could maintain his weight. I'm pretty sure he's going to be up, up. He has to go up in weight now because he is a little bit heavier, lightweight division. Maybe a little bit heavier, so 145, maybe 150 or something like that. And uh, he's got a weight in his category, so he looked big, he looked strong, he looked ripped. Kind of remind me exactly like uh, Oscar De La Hoya, so I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's something good about Ron Garcia because, first of all, he has God on his on his side, so he definitely knows what's going on. He's here to uh, expose uh, the lies and the truth of uh, what's going on and deeper side of this. This is more deeper, not just the boxing, because he's got something that's, uh, like I said, 2024 is uh, the revealing, the... Uh, all the all what's hidden is gonna be uh, it's gonna be uh, open and the truth is gonna prevail. <sighs> but they're gonna kick and scream. But we be no line. I'm talking lingo. So, but anyway, let's uh, listen to uh, to what I have to say. What what Brian has to say. So. Wow. Well, look at Oscar. He's like, damn. Yeah. yeah. He did it. <laughs> Wow. Elite, yeah. Roscoe knows, man. He's a champion himself. So. <laughs> yeah. Very marketable. And, uh. First of all, first of all, let me say, um. Thank you, Brooklyn. Thank you, uh, to all the fans. Thank uh, you, New York. Wow. For giving Ryan all the love, yeah. all the love he deserves. Yeah. Everybody said, "Oh, this fight doesn't belong on the East Coast." And this, look at the arena. Yeah. Pay per views are gonna be through the roof. Yeah. Next fight, and yeah. Ryan Garcia as the champ. Yeah. Come on, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is another is another uh, golden boy. <laughs> right. Um. Thank you guys for uh, coming. First and foremost, I want to thank yeah. Jesus Christ for keeping peace. Um, thank God, my friends. You know, this is why people need to stop believing everything on the internet. Yeah. Stop, you know, living in a false reality. At the end of the day, there's a lot of real shit going on. Yeah. You know, the last thing you should worry about is a kid acting crazy on the internet. Yeah. Real shit is going on in the world. Open your eyes. No kids being hurt. Nobody caring. Everybody's looking at it like, oh, he's just crazy. He's a conspiracy. He's this, he's that. At the end of the day, that shit was real. Yeah. I, I out there put my reputation on the line. I had yeah. to do this thing and I was crazy. Back in the day, who's the crazy one now? You know, I, I didn't even really want to say this, but it is the truth. You know, everybody needs to acknowledge, like, yo, I'm tripping. Yeah. Y'all was tripping, not me. Yeah. Well, you guys were tripping. <laughs> I was, I was the one that was actually with sanity. Yeah. Because I'm like, yo, there's a few little kids. Let's, let's help them. Yeah. But that's why being a real man. Cause I don't give a fuck what people say about me. Yeah. I walked through the fire and still held it down and still beat fucking Devin Haney and still drink every day and still eat him. And I still <laughs> hide <did> everything. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, what, what, what happened? False reality, right? Yeah. Like every single night went out on the first Monday and a Tuesday and a Tuesday. <laughs> what happened? I won't. Hey, not necessarily. Wait, 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 wait. Not necessarily am I proud of it. But I'm just saying, this is, I, it was a statement to show you, you guys can't really fuck with me. I do whatever I want. Exactly. Wow. He did, he did, um, settle down on Sunday. He did. <laughs> if none of that happened, oh. and he stayed in camp for eight yeah. weeks. Yeah. No, I didn't do that, but I just, I just, yeah. just imagine, see, use your imagination what y'all all had witnessed. Yeah. Just imagine all the things he just said, and I'm going to keep on watching you this is ours. And he would have just been every day straight for eight weeks looking at the rack. Yeah. But, like, I was, I was having fun. No, I heard it. No, that's nothing yet. Maybe on Monday, probably. Yeah, he didn't come in. I already checked. Uh, I just, a lot of shit's been happening. Hey, Joe, Ryan Garcia won. Knocked out three times. Three times. Oh, man, it's awesome. Dude. No, it was a great fight. I'm just shocked. Uh, I was going for that. A couple rounds at the end, but between the third and fourth, fifth round, bro, he just fucking just hugged each other half the time. No, it, wow. And then at the end, then he started. He started up. But the first round was pretty good. It was an action. And then the third, fourth round. I'm, I'm watching it right now. I'm just I'm, I'm watching the clip. You got to watch the whole clip. I watched the first round. I first lockdown down because everybody yeah. from the beginning of the first bell to the 12th, I kid you not, everybody was just on their feet. But what was running through your mind? 
Um, is this gonna be the moment I stop him? That's just all I haven't, I haven't, I haven't watched the full clip yet. I only watched ten minutes of it. So right now, and I, I like what I see. And the seventh, twelfth, I think seventh, tenth, eleventh round is where he clipped him. So we all know that Ronnie Garcia now is now. Uh, we'll see what happens with the belt, the title belt. Right now, that was not. This is not a title belt. So, and he didn't lose weight, so he had to use. All his strength came with it because he had to like drain himself. He wasn't weak, so that's that's why he was strong. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, the guy was holding me for dear life. Yeah, and I found an opportunity to keep swinging while my hands were free. Yeah, and I cracked him, and then he took point away when I cracked him. Yeah, but he out me, and then like I should have knocked him out in that seventh round. They stole that for me. Mm. The referee was horrible. I think everybody in the arena saw it. It was horrible. It should have been stopped the first time. And Devin was holding it, holding it, holding it. Ryan got a point. <coughs> that was crazy. I never seen some shit like that. He told me, and I just whacked. I whacked him, and then he was hurt, and I was like, "Yes, done." And then, oh, point taken off. <laughs> 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 the the real Judge Johnson uh, incident news in the front. Uh, Ryan and I learned that he was darling. Oscar has have to say two brilliant uh, game plans, Ryan. Uh, <laughs> King, King James Ryan. Did you, King Ryan. Ryan. Oh, right. did you think Haney felt your power in the first round? Oh, how did you How did you feel? <laughs> he got wild with that. I mean, I, I'm surprised he has such good heart. Like, probably, but, bro, I cracked him that first round. I thought it was over. I was like, I'm going to work. And then he came out firing in the second. He even hurt me with the hook. And I was like, man, maybe you do got a little power. I got power, sir. Right. Yeah. Mike I think Devin Haney has a one trick pony. He uh, was very. He's very good at what he does too, but Ryan kind of figured it out. I think Ryan, it's because of his power, his speed is what got uh, Devin Haney. Man, you don't know half of the shit I've been through in my life. Yeah. That shit was nothing. Yeah. Like, I've been through some crazy aspects. This whole fight was crazy. Yeah. Like crazy, you have no clue. Oh my, y'all have no clue. Fucking no clue. Shit's not there. He'll come out one day. Yeah. Oscar, what do you think? I swear I had brown hair on Monday, and I got gray hair. Have a look, Brian. I mean, look, Devin Haney was on everyone's pound for pound list. He's a great boxer, and you dropped him three times. He's never been down before. Yeah. Huge win. Yeah. 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 Well, how, how does this feel? You know, you were counted out, and yeah. this is a monster, the monster victory. I mean, I mean, like I said, my, me and my coach, he, he's instilled in my mind, literally brainwashed me. What's next? So at the end of the day, what's next? Yeah. Like at the end of the day, I already knew I could beat him. I was supremely confident. Am I happy? Of course. But at the end of the day, like, I'm all about trying to fulfill the will of God and keep it moving. Yeah. So what's next? Who's Amen. next? Amen. So, yeah. God did. Amen. God did. <laughs> hey, Ryan, what's going on, man? Right in the front, right in. This is Najee from Cigar Talk. Uh, congratulations. Big, big win tonight. Um, this win, you know, in spectacular fashion with all the knockdowns, people have already started clamoring about a tank uh, part two. How oh, yeah. Do you feel just, you know, obviously part two with a title belt, though. This is not a title uh, belt, so. Yeah. Uh, but how do you feel? What are your thoughts on trying to make that? Yeah. Ryan can crack, man. He can look at the speed. I gotta see this. I gotta dissect the whole thing first. Cause... <sighs> he did go to the 12, though. So. Hmm. No, I'm aware. That's Frank Martin's trainer. I, I, I know I interviewed Derek. Derek knows. I'm just saying is that's a that's a fight that people are clamoring for. But at the end of the day, Tank. No disrespect. Tank, Tank, look it. I don't think Tank's gonna beat Frank Martin. But if he did, he wouldn't fight me because I'm moving up. I'm not doing 140. I'm 147. 147. Fucking 140. I, I never even technically fought at 140. I fought every time at 143. My body can't literally go lower than 143. It's impossible. I tried every technique. Can't do it. The only, the only way, the only way he's gonna fight Tank Davis, it's a catch weight. Yeah. Okay. At, at forty five. Yeah. Forty four. Just the way they did it to him. Yeah. Exactly. And now he's the man. Now he's the face of boxing. Exactly. Oh, right. Come on. Now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now we gotta fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am 
It's all business, right? Here too, so between uh, Oscar Deloy and the rib injury, so uh, the, the catch weight. What did you learn from that experience, and how has it helped you in this fight, and how might it help you moving forward in your career? Uh, that people don't give a shit about you. Yeah. You know, it's war at the end of the day, so I understood that um, I can't play around even negotiations. I can't let them win in anything because, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I pretty much did that for the boxing community and the boxing fans to run that fight. Despite all the causes, he told me not to, everybody, and their mama told me not to. But I was like, fuck that, man. You guys are boring. Everybody's boring. I'm going to fight them. Win or lose, I'm going to run it. And I'm going to his ass in the second. I was too weak. I, I knew I was going to lose in the back room. I had no power. I had no power. I had no mind. I was dehydrated. It was really bad. I should I should have actually died from that weight. I should have been perfect. I really did perfect. Yeah, because when you're doing a catch weight or you're trying to drop weight, trying to, that's how you lose. And he lost that fight. Because Tank Davis is only 140. His body can't go down to 140. Natural body weight. And when you do, you have to lose water. When you lose water, you get very weak. So it's kind of like a... It's a bodybuilding thing. You know how we, when, you, when you compete, you have to drop water to make weight. But when you make weight, you drop that water, you become very weak. And that's exactly what Ryan felt when you drop weight. Probably take some kind of laxative or some kind of... Um, suppositories. Uh, I don't know, like... Anything to drop that extra like, five pounds of water. So you either have to sign it out, take diuretics or whatever. When you do that, you lose a lot of your power. And Brian is all about power and speed. And to be at 140 at his height. Uh, and Tank Davis is, is, is not a chump either. And he's definitely good for his weight category. And that's where Tank Davis clipped him. A body shot or a kidney shot. And he got him and couldn't get up. So... Ryan uh, definitely did a great job uh, from from the clips that I seen. From the clips that I seen, it was only like ten minute clips. I haven't seen the full fight yet. I have to wait till someone downloads it, and then I'll give you a commentator right after that. But anyway, I am <clears throat> pretty impressed. But Ryan Garcia did because he put his mouth, and uh, I respect him over that. And even though he's a little loose a little bit, you need that for boxing. It's promoting self promotion. So. Run. All right, right now. Anyway, I felt with Gibby Sport. Um, I know you guys just mentioned Davis. Uh, in my opinion, I believe rematch with Devin would be a step back. Yeah. Um, in your opinion, who would you like to fight as? And it could be in New York. I felt like the New York crowd was really Clinton. gravitating. I mean, I had a vision to fight fun. All right, so. <clears throat> okay, this fucking damn thing is clipping. So. Um. There's probably going to be a part two. And if there's going to be a part two and we're talking money on the table. And uh, I don't know. Ryan figuring him out. He got all his set. You figure all his superpowers. Uh, he got all his powers um, from his speed. And, and, and he can crack speed and strength and power. A uh, com combination of two when he didn't have to drop that weight. So that means he had all his powers. Like Superman, you know. He, he, you put the the green, what is that green? Um, it makes him weak. But when you <clears throat> fill Ron Garcia with no claws, uh, that's where he uh, dominated uh, the fight. And I can just see it with just the clips that I've seen. So, anyway, that's or, or, I don't know. What should I do? Like, bottom line is this: we're going to rest. We're going to go back to the drawing board. We're going to take the best fight that Ryan thinks is the best fight. We're going to make big fights. We're going to make big fights. Big pay per view. That's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah. Do the same look, look, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the. I'll tell you the truth. Ryan is gonna rest. Yeah. Had a great win. Let him enjoy it. Yeah. And guess what? Ryan's calling all the shots now. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan's calling all the shots now. Yeah. That's the fact. Yeah. He, wants to, he wants to fight at 47. Ah. He wants to fight at catch weight. But guess what? If anybody wants to make money, wow. if anybody wants to make money, that's where it's at the bet. You have to fight Ryan. And guess what? He's he's big money, boy. Yeah. Guess what? He's going to give me 
an exciting fight every single time. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, one more. Uh, this called in from the boxing section. Uh, one for Ryan and one for Derrick James. How important was it to have Derrick James in the corner? Oh yeah, that's a major key. You know, Derrick James did a good job though, even though he probably couldn't handle because he's going, man, my grace, he's man, he's drinking and smoking, fighting, but for some reason he did it. So he probably go, wow, he can drink, smoke while you're in camp. Nah, I don't know, but he did though. So he didn't see me cry before. He was like, man, you good? Don't worry about that. He's like, you're going to get through this, man. You're going to get through this. He said, you're going to get through this. You're going to get through this. Man. Somebody download the full fight. I want to see it for crying out loud. Then I'll give you my commentary later on. But right now, they're games, man. He's got to talk a little louder. I can't hear shit. But. I just want to say one more thing, okay? I'm so glad people that I'm going to mention. Pauly Malignaggi, Timothy Bradley. Timothy Bradley. Wow. Yeah. Steve Kim. Maybe Mario Lopez. Maybe. Mario Lopez. They're all piece of shit. Okay? Oh, boy. That's right. And Ryan proved them wrong. Yeah. Well, yeah, Timothy Bradley said my dick. Go <laughs> 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 All right, we're gonna wait, wait. Okay, Ryan, Ryan, is, he needs a little bit, he needs to tone down that a little bit, but that's his rhetoric, and that, that's how he sells his fight. He's a little bit let loose on the mouth a little bit, but but he uh, he knows how to promote himself. He's got a hell of a lot of, I will not credentially. He's got a hell of a lot of following on his uh, Instagram and uh, TikTok, so that's why they call him a, <laughs> that's why I call him a social media boxer. Hold on a second for crying out loud. For watching this video. That's, that's why they call him a social media boxer, TikTok boxer, or YouTube boxer, and Instagram video. boxer. So he definitely, um, uh, I don't know, he definitely proved everybody wrong. i tell you one thing. So he, uh, everybody just put their foot in their mouth. So, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, we'll see what happens in the next couple of hours when everything downloads and I dissect the whole 12 round and I'll give you my commentator and who... And what they say, uh, and I don't know, man. Work God works in mysterious ways. I say He picks His prophets or He picks His people that they need to move the chess pieces when it comes to moving uh, this movement that we're doing right now in 2024 because it is the last year. So He's talking a lot about about the children, uh, adrenochrome, and stuff like that. So everything is linked together. So this is for a reason, and um, we will see. Anyway, thanks for joining me today in this great uh, um, boxing between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney and full fight will be coming soon. And I will give you my commentator right after that. First, I got to see the fight first and then I'll give you a dissect of what, and my two cents of, of Ryan Garcia. He's definitely now the face of boxing and uh, he's a cash cow. So stay tuned. Bye for now. God bless. God's be you. See you in the next video.